Hello and welcome, I'm Trebecca99 and this is FTL Advanced Edition. In this video we're going to be doing the very last ship uh, that I have not yet completed. Um, it is the Stealth Cruiser C. Now this is a really wacky ship. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do this on normal because I'm not convinced it's going to be very much fun on hard. Uh, the thing about this ship is, like all the other stealth cruisers, it has no shields to start. However, unlike all the other stealth cruisers, uh, it does not have a cloak system. What it has is a shield overcharger and an anti-combat drone. So, okay, we're gonna have to use those. Um, and we're going to have to try and kill things quickly. We have this laser charger, which can get two shots off in 11 seconds, which is great at one power. That's nice. And the mini beam, um, which is a tiny little beam, can hit, you know, probably probably not more than three rooms. Uh, although maybe there are some ships that can hit four on. In some cases, it'll probably be restricted to two. Um, but at least it charges fairly quickly. So our offensive capabilities are okay, but no shields, uh, at least we have a little bit higher engine capacity. Um, so we'll see how this goes. So here we go. Obviously we want to charge up our little weapons. And we can charge those up. We can keep one power out, and then I'll probably have to pull one from engines anytime I want to use that shield charger, which I think to start is going to be pretty often. We have a reasonable number of drone parts, but obviously getting our, um, uh, oh wait, we have to buy a shield system, my god, um, and it's probably not cheap, so we will stockpile scrap and hunt for shields try not to spend our scrap until we find them. Although one thing I would certainly spend them on potentially is upgrading the drone system so that when we do encounter drones we can get both of these um, going up if we're facing combat drones because if we use the anti-drone system we can't use the shield overcharger. Uh, lots of nebula here. So here we go, and its FTL is trying to charge. I'm going to go ahead with the shield overcharger right away, actually. Because that is the only thing protecting us. Okay, that's up. Now, uh, let's let that second shot hit. That took out his shields. Uh, oh yeah, look at that. Okay, so four rooms. That's nice, at least. Oh, right. Oh, too late on the mini beam. a fire in the drone system. Let's just pop those doors. Wow, I don't even have a sensor subsystem. They didn't put anything on this ship, man. <laughs> I'm also thinking... I should have swapped these guys. Rocks are so slow at moving around. Um, and I'd rather have him stay on the weapons. I'll have the slug do the engines. Because he moves faster. It's better to use him for repairs. And get around the ship more quickly. There's a store. If only I had any scrap. Um, I guess I can kind of like jump, jump. I'll jump around, go to the nebula, then to the store, and then be on my way. Yeah, like that, kind of. 
So I'll try and get as much scrap in the hopes that I can get a shield system there. Oh, they both missed. That's terrible. Come on, it's got to be long enough. Whoops. There we go, just barely. work to try and get it to hit that. Another store. <coughs> um, yeah, I guess I have time to check this one out. Take a look. One twenty-five for shields. That's tough. Drone recovery arm. Oh, that would be excellent. Given that I'm I'm going to be using drones pretty much throughout, that takes care of my uh, things. The only issue is that it really slows down my ability to get shields. Um, But I think that drone recovery arm is good enough to worth, be worth buying right now. Thank you. 
systems down. Oops. to do the store or not. I really don't have much. I think it's not worth it. I was trying to figure out which route to take after this. to get uh, the drone system upgraded so if I do face an attack drone I can take it out. so good. have time to make this extra jump before heading into the nebula since the f nebula will slow down the fleet so much. Mm, no point in delaying the rebels or scouting the sector really, so I'll fight the guy. Come on, 
on, there's got to be a way to get four rooms in there. This bloody beam is so tiny. There it is. I had it for a split second. the reactor so I can at least use all of the engine power I have. Um, although it would be great to fly around with enough scrap to buy a shield system. That would be handy. And do I want to upgrade the drones? I think I need to save the scrap for now. to the next sector. Um, Zoltan or civilian, it would be really great actually to get some Zoltan crew in here because with a weapon system and a drone system <coughs> it's entirely likely that I'm gonna need a lot of power later on assuming I have the scrap to afford it. So what I really need here is a store Preferably a store with a shield system. Got him. 
another anti-combat drone. sign of a story. try and quote unquote see as many sectors as I can. Make sure I can get to a store. I also have to make sure I can get up into that nebula. through the exit. I'm running out of potential jumps, so I actually kind of don't want to move too quickly here. There's a lot of these guys. Oh, they got the oxygen system. I was really hoping they wouldn't.
Alright, that wasn't too bad. this dealt with. God. Are they going to give me a store at all? God, a defense drone mark too. That's brutal. So one of these shots is gonna get sh shot down. The other one, I gotta hope, will hit. Missed. beam is I'm firing the beam too early wait for the beam to catch back up to the charge laser here we go was a bit tricky. Ooh, an ion charger. Yay for more weapons. Okay, let's check out this. Six seconds per shot. So, okay. That's a thing we could do. There's a store! Thank friggin' goodness. Uh, so I guess I'm heading through the exit and then kind of taking a loop through the nebula and back to the exit. I have to double back. There's no choice. Uh, and I'm just going to go straight to that store right now because I feel like I have enough scrap. 
So, some weapons I don't really need. A shield system I do need. Yay for shields! Um, don't really need the rest of that. Don't need fuel. Definitely don't need drone parts because I have the drone recovery arm. Um, so that's about it, but I will get repairs. Oh, yes. To upgrade my reactor. So as to be able to power that drone there. And then I'm going to want to upgrade weapons and reactors to get the charge ion involved. Yeah, I can give you some missiles. And they repaired my hull, which is completely useless to me. To make sure I have time here, but I think I will. If I jump there, they're going to be out here. And then they're going to have one, two, three, four little jumps. Three, four and then I'll go to the exit. I think it's enough time. I think it is. I hope I don't screw this up. Okay, well, I guess I can't quite get four of them. shields, that's annoying. Why is my drone down? Oh, I have nobody on the shield system. Ooh, that was just in time. Actually, opening those aren't going to help. There's no reason to repair that room right now. managed to shoot down his hacking drone. <coughs> now I can turn back on the shield drone. I oh, another one that quickly. I should have turned... should have kept the anti-drone on. Oh well. Too late. 
But it's only the oxygen system, that's not actually very threatening over the long term. Plus I can do that. Well, that was easy. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade the reactor again. Ooh, this'll be fun. Okay, how do I want to do this? Probably regular shields would be the priority. to turn the oxygen system back on. Okay, not so bad. And off we go to the exit. Sector Mantis Homeworlds. I'm not even close to being able to get the Mantis ship. Um, so I don't see a lot of good reason to go there. This is going to result in a lot of stuff where I get boarded, which I'm not very well equipped to deal with. Um, so I'd rather go Zoltan. I just realized I can power up my stuff here. That's better. Uh, and I would still like a chance to get a Zoltan crew member if I can. Rather avoid the environmental hazard. Hmm, now we're running into trouble. This is trouble. Definitely need a weapons upgrade to get that charge ion involved. <clears throat> and that is exactly why. both shots to hit just to get a chance to damage them with the mini beam which is now not even an option oh shoot that guy's still on my ship I should really I shouldn't have done that I shouldn't have left the door room Okay, he's out of here. I need the beam powered up. There we go. Oh, 
shields came back too quick. could have gone better, but... So what I really need here... Sixty to the weapons. Which I'm pretty darn close to. Okay. So now let's say I'm not gonna use the super shield can use the charge ion, probably toss it down here, set up like that, and that'll help me get shields down where the charge laser and mini beam can do their work. This is definitely not an auto fire ship, I gotta say. Of course I spent that scrap right before I could have gone to a store, which is now basically completely worthless because I don't see I can, well, I, I guess I'll try these two jumps and then go to the store. Maybe I'll get enough scrap for there to be something worthwhile there. Mm, not looking like it. This is an interesting conglomeration of weapons here. Brick coordinate everything. It'd be really helpful to get a combat drone or something. Teleporter sensors, none of that's very high priority. Um, none of that's really very useful. I'd love sensors, but I'd ha I have to do other stuff first, for sure. Oh, I can definitely sell... I can 
theory I could sell long range scanners too, but they're not actually worth all that much. Just in case there's something worthwhile up there, I might as well jump this way. Okay. Hmm, anti-drone, huh? I mean, yeah. That thing could be a problem. Charged. God, everything missed. That's brutal. my drone down too. Jesus, there's fires everywhere! Well, that was very destructive. Now the door system is okay. Where is their fire still? Don't die. I screwed that up. Okay. Fires are out. This was pretty messy.
can launch that shield drone too, which would help. Wait. There we go. And I should look into being able to get the shield and anti-drone up at the same time. this top route. Mm, maybe that's too many. It's gonna be like one, two, three. Yeah, that's gonna be too many. I can't go that way. Alright, I'll go this way. ship I'm facing. I don't know why these automated ships show up basically throughout the game with no shields sometimes. It doesn't make a lot of sense. extra bit of charge ion is questionable as to whether I should do it or not, whether I should wait for it, but feels to me like I should. Forgot about the auto fire. See, that's not terrible, I guess. As long as I... That's not bad. There we go. Okay. Slug or Rockman. Uh, let's go with Slug. So yeah, this is probably where I should fire, is once the charge ion is at 2, rather than waiting for 3. certainly effective. Bye-bye! Ooh, nice. Okay, that was some good scrap there. Um... I think... Could we do this? We 
could. Yeah, that's pretty hard to to turn down. This is potentially the slug cruiser, let's see. Um, I don't really want the bio beam, what happens here? Yeah, I think this leads us to the... Yeah, this leads us to the cruiser. Obviously I'm focusing the slug here on repairs, he's getting pretty good at it. Ah, store. So I should be able to jump, get quite a few jumps in before going there. Oh, I didn't even look at where the quest marker is, shoot see it. Ooh, that's a little nasty. Both shots missed.
these guys. Sadly. Disabled my clone bay, which is just brutal. And there goes the oxygen system. Wow, this is going to be rough. guys is going to die, but I can at least power this, and if they don't regain control of the room... Yes. He'll come back to life, so that's okay. Right, now these guys can repair that. Oof, that was close. have to go repair the doors. Alright, one down. But Survived. No permanent deaths. through so I'm gonna have to go up that way and then through there um, I don't know if I do this enemy combat drone I have to go with the anti-drone. Charge ion. Ouch. Oh, God, really?
Okay, not terrible. charge up again before I shoot. got the um, quest for the slug cruiser so I probably should have just killed them off but it's okay oh another store look at that um, I have to go up that way to get to the quest anyway probably from there But I also don't want to miss, you know, any jumps. Uh, we can go without oxygen, we can kill him fast enough. Ooh, he's got a lot of shields. Oops. I'm gonna need the extra. Wow, he took out that bomb. There we go. There we go. scrap here. So, if I jump here, and then to that store, then there, then to that store. Oh, 
that's too bad. I wish I'd seen that coming. So that thing is going to try and take out my shields. I had better get in there. God, it's going to run out of oxygen too. Fuel is slightly tempting, because I'm getting low. I think I'll take their surrender. Now, obviously we have a slight problem here. Okay, that's dealt with. to the store. Backup battery. I don't need any of those weapons. Uh, cloaking would actually be really nice, but I don't think I can afford it right now because I need repairs. I'm going to have to get cloaking in a later system. Um, but obviously that's a system I want that would be badass. Hacking is another one that would be badass. So, I'm gonna go with repairs. And... Um, backup battery? I don't know. I don't know if I need it. I, w I sort of want to save the money for the next store in case there's something really good there. these ships with three shields. I really need a better weapon loadout soon. Yikes. Oof. Just enough. Okay. Where's that bomb? It's right there. That's not scary. fire, but I don't know where it is. And why are my doors not functioning? Oh, they hacked my doors, that's right. Okay, where's the fire? Uh, my doors still don't work? I guess I gotta get out of this system. So, hacking. Yes, hacking. I would like to buy a hacking. It would be nice to have more crew, but I don't want to spend money on it. Defense Drone Mark II would also be frickin' incredible. I'll have to upgrade the drone system to use it, but, um, but yeah, I want one of those. For sure. For sure, for sure. And that'll help with the three, with the heavy shield ships, the hacking system. Um, okay, well that's all my money. Now my doors work. Oh, better not send him in there. Go. 
Alright, everyone back to stations. And I'm gonna need to upgrade the um, reactor soon. Anyway, lots of things to do here. That was three, I took the blue option there, in case that wasn't clear. Okay... Um, I'm gonna go without oxygen here, so that I can use the hacking system to get the shields down. It's already coming back up. Damn it! I hacked too soon. Too soon. Too soon. Can I? I can. Okay. Damn it! Didn't ever get the shields down. Hang on. Those have to wait. here. God, it's gonna jump. Um, how am I gonna deal with this? Oh my god, it like all missed. take it down. Can I do this? I can hit both the engines and the... Yes! Got it! Alright, sweet. I should probably just keep pounding those shields when I can. Is it ready? Just barely in time. Okay, I think this gives us a slug cruiser. It does. So that gives us a nice chunk of scrap, plus the um, slug repair gel, which I'll end up just selling, I'm sure. Um, oh yeah, I better uh, turn the oxygen back on or we're all gonna die. Oh, that'll finally repair that hull breach. Automatically. Now I can upgrade that so I don't have to turn off oxygen in order to use the hacking system. Another 20 for the drone control would be handy, um, but I would still need extra power. Um, although I could take it actually out of the engines. So since I have the money, I should probably should have done that, take it out of the engines instead of the oxygen. Now I have to sit here and rebuild my oxygen supply a little bit if I want to be safe. Next jump is to the exit and that's going to be the last one. Not perfectly efficient. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead. I'd like to have a little more oxygen, but I'm impatient. Woohoo! Alright, crew member, just what I've been asking for. 
somebody to work the shields. Rebel Stronghold, we could theoretically get the, um, uh, the Federation Cruiser unlock quest here, too. I can't remember what rewards you get for that, but I think it's a lot of scrap, so worth checking out. And is it on a ship detected or not? Hang on. No ship detected. a no ship detected non-distress beacon according to the wiki. Oh, and this is it. I just found it. Look at that. Alright, we gotta take this guy out. Uh, I'm gonna go with the defense drone here. Same problem I had before. Okay, I guess I'm putting that drone up for now. so good. I'm gonna wait for that hair. I'm gonna drain him. Charge ion. There. Now I can fire this guy. Oh, oh, they got through there. I didn't even realize. Yeah, so I need to keep killing them if I can. oxygen situation. Mm, I can fire this guy, which is good. Ouch! He's dead. So we'll power that up. Oh, there's a fire in the door system now. That's fantastic. to get the oxygen repaired before everyone dies. Okay, we got another... Oh, we got a chain ion, not a charge ion. That's interesting. I'll have to make a choice there. 
and delayed the fleet. Five of every resource and 54 scrap. That's pretty cool. And everyone's gonna die if I don't get that fixed. Okay. Oh, ha 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 ha, didn't power up the system. There we go. Okay. We get to live. Sensors, backup battery, and crew. Ooh, an automated reloader. I want that. Um, I can sell the slug repair gel for sure for that. Could also sell the long range scanners. Um, but I think the slug repair gel. Keep the long range scanners for now. Automated reloader. Now, do I want sensors? Probably not, because what I really want is to upgrade this drone system for 75. Um, and then worry about the reactor after. There's also... Oh, I did, I did get that on easy, the tactical approach. That must have been on my second playthrough with this. Um, but it, theoretically, I think I'm on track for getting tactical approach unlocked on hard, or on, er, on normal, on this playthrough. Forgot I'm not on hard. Um, okay, just kind of waiting for some oxygen to come back. I guess that's enough-ish. And we'll be on our way. Matthew is actually better at repairs. I didn't even realize. Alright, that was good. Um, now I can absolutely upgrade the drone control. Actually, I wanted to take a look at the chain ion. Yeah, it's a 14 second charge, that's the thing. Plus it takes more power than my ion charger. So I think I'll stay away from it, because this fires every 6 seconds, which is pretty decent. Plus it can charge up if when I need it. Um, so, yeah. Upgraded the drone system. Obviously needs some more power in order to really use that, but I will get there. Being able to run both those drones simultaneously will be pretty frickin' awesome. Okay. Oh dear. Okay, that's a problem. Um. Yeah. Ouch. No. 
Oh, he's got a drone. Okay, I should switch this to those two to get rid of his drone. Slow for the beam. I always seem to have that problem with these ships. I suppose I can probably survive here without it. Kind of do like these three jumps basically before going to the store or something like that. three, but this one hits weapons, so I'm gonna go that way. Aw, oh, he got his shields up in time? That's super annoying.
Great. Automated Reloader is really helping me take ships out quickly. I'm hanging onto my scrap here because I'm hoping there might be a stealth cloaking system on this other ship. <laughs> Alright. That is a scary looking loadout. Got to say. I'm gonna pull oxygen to defend myself here. Actually, I can for now keep that up. Okay, now I gotta switch. Oh, it only has two shields, that's helpful. just in time, that little bugger. The shield overcharger is so great because it actually protects against missiles as well. And, uh, put the oxygen back on. jumps here. One jump. No, that's cutting it close. You want some fuel, huh? Alright, let's see what we get for it. A hull beam. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. I'll take a look at that once I get to the store here. I uh, probably could have made it the extra jump. That's a pity. Okay, what do we have? Ah. Ooh, a burst laser. I love me my burst laser mark twos. I love me my flat guns too. Hmm. Oh, weapon pre-igniter is the best thing on the planet. Although not super synergistic with what I have right now, actually. Be better with a burst or flak, honestly. Um, the other issue is that these are only two power weapons, and I'm already... And I could use them in place of one of the one power weapons, but okay. Anyway, I can sell that. The hull beam is also two powers with a long charge time. Um, I can't really justify going in with two beams. If I have a bit of a fire sale of my weapons here, what, so what happens? Okay, if I go ahead oh, and buy it, sell the long range scanner for 15, buy the weapon pre igniter, I have 7. no, wait, I have 57 left. Oh man, there's also, that's the other option, another Defense Drone Mark II. A fully maxed drone system with two Defense Drone Mark IIs and a shield overcharger would be pretty crazy. Um, but that's probably too crazy because it's going to be really expensive to upgrade the drones that much. And I need a short-term solution. I need firepower in a way. God, there's an automated reloader too? I have so many drones. I could sell the drone recovery arm, honestly. I sold both of those for 40, and then bought both of these for 160. Um, I would only have 42 left. Then I could sell the hull beam, which would leave me with 77. Um, and buy... Leave me with 77. Buy, let's say... The 
flat gun. Um, buy the flat gun. 77, that leaves me with 12. And if I sold those out at 52, which is enough for the burst laser. So I, I would be switching completely to the flak and burst laser, which would give me five shots right away to try and take down shields. Not quite enough to take them down completely, except that I could hack. Uh, I mean, five is enough to take them down completely, but everything has to hit. How's that going to work? So if I hack them down a bit, uh, fire those two weapons, get them down, beam, and then just keep pounding at their shields. Uh, I'll have to upgrade the weapons to get the beam going. This is pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy, but I'm gonna do it. What sector are we in? Sector 5. Can I handle Sector 6, 7, and 8 with 32 drone parts launching 3 drones per fight? Probably not. So that's one problem. I probably can't sell the drone recovery arm. But what I can do, clearly, what I will do is sell the long-range scanners, buy the weapon pre-igniter, because that's just too good to pass up. I'm going to sell... Do, maybe I want to keep the hull beam. I think I'm going to keep the hull beam and eventually swap it for the mini. Um, which means right now, do I want to sell the ion or the laser? I'll sell the ion. And buy the flak. Uh, if I sell the laser, even if I sell the laser and the mini beam, that's only 42, which is not enough to buy the burst laser. I kind of want the burst laser. But if I sell the hull beam, then I have enough. So maybe I will stick with the mini for now. It's the burst laser works much better with the weapon reigniter, that's the thing of it. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna sell the laser charger. Maybe I should sell the mini beam instead. Keep the laser charger on hand. No, I'll keep the mini beam. Sell the charger. Sell the hull beam. Buy the burst laser. Could have gone with a swarm too, but um, ch stuff that charges doesn't work as well with the weapon pre-igniter. So our weapon loadout is going to look like that now. And it's going to be fun. I'm going to need the mini beam obviously soon, although ideally I'd like a different beam weapon, but we'll see what I get. I think I can afford these jumps. I'm not going to get that um, thingy or whatever, because I'm going to go through that asteroid field. Which I might have gone through an asteroid field once before, now that I think of it. So, oh well. That's a drone coming at me, so I'm going to go with those two, so I can take out those hacking drones. I'm going to hack his shield. The question is whether to shoot and then wait for the hack. Yeah, I should, I should just sit here and wait for the hack. And... Whoops. Oh shoot, I should have fired at... Um, 
the shields, not at the weapons. Anyway, that worked. Beautiful. Okay. Twenty-two second charge time, one power, does four ion damage, that's beautiful. Because th the charge time is the major disadvantage to this thing, but of course I have a, a pre-igniter, um, so I'm going to be able to launch that at their shields instantly, which is going to be just crazy. It's going to be crazy. So that's, that's pretty cool. Um, Obviously, I'm still looking for scrap to upgrade my reactor. Ooh, I hope I don't have to face the fleet here. Was I overly ambitious in my jumping? I really thought I had time. Bye-bye. Yep, I was overly ambitious in my jumping. Oh, and I can't upgrade. Okay, that's unfortunate. Let's see how we do here. Um, so this is where I was talking about using the bomb immediately. And then I can draw the last bit down. And then switch the bomb over there. Very nice. Oh, hi. You are trying to kill me. Oh yes, the anti-ship battery, my best friend. Let's power that up. And that, actually, oof, okay. Let's get out of here. I wish I'd noticed that was ready when it, I, when it was. Uh, might as well go to the NG homeworld. It's a little more exciting. He died, but he got the oxygen fixed. We still have this jerk.
Okay. Well, I survived that, but it was not pretty. So I absolutely need a store here to get some repairs happening. Oh, he doesn't have much in the way of shields. Oxygen. Stupid of me. Oh, look at that. He's got his weapons back almost. That's not right. There's a store. Okay. Three, one, two, three, maybe. I have enough fuel for it. <coughs> as long as I don't get in a really bad encounter and end up getting destroyed, that'll be fun. Oh my god, yes, I love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now it feels stupid to have bought the burst laser. But, oh well. Oh no, I'm not going to be too late here, am I, to get to the store? That would be devastating. Oh, and I forgot to power that up so it doesn't get the pre-ignite. That's frickin' awesome. And that missed. So, oops. Not off to a good start here. Oh yes, and... I can totally do that. slow there, but that's okay. say he's in big trouble. Oh, I didn't even notice he was trying to FTL out of there, but... Bye-bye. Oh, I barely get to keep the store. Thank God. Phew. Okay, so what do we have here? Some weapons I don't really need. Augments I don't really need. And crew I don't really need. However, we have fuel and repairs that I manifestly do need. So that's good. Um, sell the mini beam at this point. I'll probably keep using the ion bomb. I don't know whether I want to switch it out for a burst laser or not. Um, 
honestly, given that I have the weapon pre-igniter, probably makes more sense to keep the ion bomb. I have enough missiles to last the rest of the game. And the Burst Laser Mark II is a massive upgrade over the Mark I. It's an extra shot for one second. And I'll keep the flak over the Burst II. Or should I? Three shots per charge. This is two. Flak does cost more. I spent more on it. It is one more shot. Um it's moderately faster, but it, it's just the, the spread of the thing makes it unpredictable and less useful on some ships, uh, whereas the burst laser is much more accurate. Do -do 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 -do. I'm going to do it this way. I think it's a pretty good loadout, actually. Especially for for a five power setup. Okay, <coughs> that means I still have a bunch of scrap. Okay, I can get out that way. Which I definitely want at least enough there. So now I have enough to power both the defense and shield drone systems. And I really should power up enough for my engine systems. The next step is hacking. Yes, so I have enough for that too. And then the next thing we'll be getting the hacking up to full. And this is becoming a great little ship here. Uh, I'm gonna give this a try because the Mantis may uh, join us. I could use a Mantis. Nope! Wasn't damaged my ion bomb. And this guy's got anti-combat drones so I can't get a hacking system in there. But I do have enough laser shots to go after that. Um, the drone system is also damaged. I think he has drones on my side. Oh, he's got a defense drone mark too as well. That little bugger. I'm gonna go repair this drone system. Ah, missed. Ouch, right through my shields. That bastard. Ion bombs down again. <coughs> okay, I gotta I gotta fire my burst lasers in tandem here. Stupid drone setup. Damn it, shields are back. Oh, too many misses, man.
another store. But if I go to that store, I'm stuck. Because I don't have a jump out. So I gotta go there. Okay. What's that? Anti-combat drone. Uh, so that will shoot down my hacking drone. Um, but... I can try to do that. That's enough to get a hacking drone in on his shields. Very nice. Uh, now I don't care so much about his drone system, I can focus that on weapons. And that about does it. Look at this havoc I have wrought. Very nice. I'm starting to like this ship here. And off we go. Hang on, actually. Hacking. Oh yeah. Uh, sure. That was a miss. for the scrap. I do need to buy more fuel again, but uh, that was a nice bit of scrap. So probably the next thing I'm looking at here is a shield upgrade. It's going to be 170. Oh, there's a store here. Look at that. Let's see what's down there. Backup battery in theory. keep offering me automated reloaders, man. I just, I use so many drones. Gotta be at least a little bit cautious. I think I'll keep the rest of my scrap. I mean, maybe I want the backup battery? Let's see. Yeah, I only have four more power, which is just enough for my shields and not enough for anything else. So while I'm here, I might as well get the backup battery. And I've been holding out for a cloaking system, but maybe I won't end up buying one. Let's see if I get the chance. Another um, fancier drone. Uh, for example, another defense drone or something. I can actually 
should go ahead and... I'm just gonna hack his drone system because that drone is being annoying. I totally forgot to launch my own drones. Oh my god. Oops. My ship would be so amazing with, um, with a cloak. This would just be a ridiculous, ridiculous ship. Nice to get an attack drone or even a beam drone or something something offensive in my drone system would be very high handy. Okay, Uncharted Nebula, Sector 7, all kinds of fun to have here. That's annoying. I guess I'm going this way. I'm actually gonna go ahead and ion bomb the weapons. I think that's a better route than hack the shields. Because that just shuts down their weapons for a while. And then I can hack. Because putting both the first ion bomb and the hacking on the shields is really kind of a waste of the hacking system's capabilities. forgot to launch those. I should just launch the anti-drone as a precautionary measure against every ship. Shit, I don't even really need a pilot. I need everyone to go kill those guys. 
it. Ouch. Defensive capabilities on this ship are out of control right now. The setup is kind of ridiculous. Okay, um, 170 for shields, that's what I'm saving for right now. I am forced to go to this store, though I probably would have anyway. There's a cloak if I could afford it. Damn it! Yeah, I don't want to sell anything either. That's annoying. Ah, here's some weapons I was requesting. The fire drones are a lot of fun. It's too bad it requires three power. That's kind of obscene. Um, beam drone would be fine as well. Just require one more power. I'd put it in, I guess, instead of the anti-drone. Although the anti-drone, it protects me from hacking. Obviously enemy drones. Maybe I just want to keep the drone system as it is. Would be nice to have some additional offensive capabilities, but I'm defensively, like, really pretty seriously um, in good shape here. I think I'm just going to continue without sensors. Up on other things. I'd love to buy a cloaking system, but... I really don't have one thing I'm willing to sell to get it. Uh, another option would be a Zoltan, but I think that's overpriced. I'll buy their fuel and be on my way, basically. Hopefully I encounter a store when I have a little more scrap on hand. Just had four out of five shots miss. That's sort of ridiculous. Everything's missing. Okay, clearly I have to go after his piloting. There we go, now he can't pilot. But in spite of how long this has taken and how hard it's been for me to hit him, he still hasn't done any haul damage to me. Keep 
keep it on here. Oh my god, it was gonna jump. I forgot it was jumping. Arrgh. I could have dealt with that. I could have dealt with that. Shoot. Oh well. That was a mistake. That's one thing I always flip and forget. It's like, oh yeah, jump imminent. They're trying to run away. Don't let them run away, you idiot. Using a lot of drone parts lately. Slightly disconcerting. Lots of stuff. <clears throat> okay, so I've been talking about doing that for a while. That's pretty cool. I want to see something here. 23. In theory, I should get three drone parts when I jump here. Is what is supposed to happen. Yeah, I do. So, I don't know why I'm losing drone parts so quickly. Oh, I guess 26. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's not as bad as I feel like it is. and I have no scrap. <laughs> if I'd have known, I wouldn't have done all those upgrades on my shields. Could've waited. However, I am, you know, the shield upgrade sort of needed to happen. I can't believe I'm going to go into the final sector with just two burst lasers and an ion bomb. And just burst laser mark one and two as well, not a, th not a three. Um, yeah, stuff, and stuff, and stuff, stuff. Pike beam wouldn't be terrible as an alternative to the ion bomb. Although having this extra ability to just wipe out a system right at the start of a an encounter is pretty cool. Um, so I don't think I... I need anything here. That's it, just intruders. That's obnoxious. You know what, actually? Just gonna get them out of there. Forget about it.
Lots of dead jumps at the end of this sector, that's annoying. Okay. I'm ready to get a move on here. Okay, so only two repair stations, that's annoying. Usually there's three or four, I thought. Nothing here? My god. Okay. I think a fully upgraded hacking system lets you take down four shields. I think it does. Oh, right. I can launch my drones, too. Just like that. Very nice. See, so the really nice little synergy I have going in this setup is that you know, ioning their weapon system and delaying how long it takes for them to attack me in combination with the um, defense drone which which can prevent shots from hitting me means that my sh my um, shield charger can actually sometimes get multiple um, charges racked up altogether. So he's going to go take that repair system. I, however, would like to continue collecting scrap. Probably keep collecting it and then spend it all at once as I jump in. Okay. Uh, right. Five, six, seven. Throw the ion bomb on there. We'll hack there. Why isn't my anti-drone guy hitting his drone? Oh, it has to be in range or something? Interesting. Okay, we're getting a good bit of scrap together here before this next fight. Let's see. I could spend it on shields, actually. I really could. I think that's the best thing to do. And then I can draw that out of engines and use the backup battery to power engines. Pretty fun. 
I am moderately worried about the power surges uh, on the later iterations of the ship without a cloaking system. That's always been the best way to deal with those. Yeah. That my shield and defense drones can do a piece of it. So many things to do at the start of an encounter. These guys, man, they keep doing that to me. Teleporting straight into the um, door system. Makes me think I should upgrade it. That since he got a shot off. Oh, yeah, that's not good. I wasn't even paying attention there. kill these bastards. system. <clears throat> and that actually means the next upgrade would be engines, naturally. I just need a little bit more scrap. I say the defensive capabilities of this ship are really quite remarkable. Bloody thing. attention there. Uh, for example, I fired a um, an ion bomb at his shields when they were already destroyed, which was obviously a stupid thing to do. 73 scrap for that fight though. Just be nice to get some repairs, but don't think that's possible at the moment. So 
like I was saying, we're going to upgrade that. So now when I back up battery, it goes to full. Um, hang on. Yeah, <coughs> my reactor's maxed out. He's at the base, but I can still do one more jump. So I'll do that and then figure out what else I want to spend on. Probably upgrading doors and gene bank and oxygen and stuff. Hey, how'd that get past my drone? That wasn't supposed to happen. Firebomb, huh? Interesting, I could use that instead of the ion. But the four ion is just so devastating because it takes us it takes stuff out like instantly. I think the ion is a better choice for this ship. Um, but man do I have a lot of scrap. I just wish I could spend some on repairs. Um oh yeah, so I could upgrade the backup battery and oh that's so tempting. Now I can really pump my engines up. And again, the defensive capabilities of this ship are out of control. And here we go, to the final battle. Okay, first we'll bring up the drones, then we're going to hack the shields. We're gonna ion. This is the problem, their weapons are so diverse. Maybe I should ion their cloak system. Oh, of course. Hey, how'd he get a hacking system through? That's not fair. I knew this was going to be problematic. This is where it's like, without a cloak, I don't know. This is going to be a little bit tricky. Oh, and that's what I forgot. Damn it. It's stupid of me. Hacking my engines, annoyingly. Actually, I might as well wait before firing because my hacking system is just back up now. Got his shields down, that'll that's a start. Mm -hmm. <coughs> 
Got him. Not too bad, but I, I'm not thrilled. It is possible I could lose on like the third fight here just from not having enough... Um, just really not having enough. defense drone is still up. So, wait. Oh, man. So his defense drone is still up, so what do I do? Can I fire another one yet? No, I can. You got that one too? That one missed. Alright. Alright, I'll keep that on his drones. Power surge coming, that's fantastic. running out of missiles. That's actually kind of impressive. Okay, that went much better. <coughs> My shields were able to hold against all their drones. I'm a little more worried about the power surge on the next one is obviously really deadly. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. I might wait for the backup battery until the first power surge comes to you know, bring my engines up. There we go. Look at that. Um, so I can bring that in. Ion, I guess I'll use on that guy. Oh, ha ha ha. Would help to have my drones up. And mind control is a pain in the arse. Somebody's dead. Uh, 
I have no pilot. That's very problematic. Shelton is my usual pilot. I hope I get control of him back soon. Here comes a power surge. I have no pilot. So this basically this is just going to really hurt. There's the hurting. Ooh, our doors are down. I just gotta try and destroy him before my crew suffocates. God, does his mind control system ever run out? There. Got it. Um, Matthew came back to life. dying. Oh, I guess he's just dying. Nothing to be done about it. Nothing at all. I still have functioning weapon systems. I can put the defense drone back up. Shields are still sort of working. Some more dying. Sort of. Yes! Got it! Alright, my ship's gonna fall apart, but the Federation won, that's all that matters. My whole crew is like, gonna be annihilated. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. That was my last uh, video. You can take a look at my top scores from the video series here. And um, I'll see you with the next video series. Not sure what I'm going to play yet, but thanks for following me through FTL.